Hello, uh, my name is Mick Moore and I'm the convener of this module called Political Economy Perspectives on Development. We could have called this module various other things like uh, understanding the politics of development, thinking politically about development. But the key feature is that it, this module is grounded in political science and political economy but we're not trying to teach you those subjects, we're focusing on issues in development and in developing countries that are particularly important from a political science perspective. So this will be quite accessible to people who haven't studied political science. For those who have studied political science, I think you'll find that we have a rather different take on issues than in most standard political science classes. The subject matter uh, is there are 11 classes. I will run through very quickly the kinds of things you'll be doing. Um, alternative ideas about good governance, a rather surprising subject which is how does the way in which governments get their money affect the way in which they govern democracy and accountability, the role of civil society in development, uh, whether the coexistence in the world of rich countries and poor countries actually exacerbates problems of bad governance in poor countries, uh, the role of government in promoting development, the politics of markets, issues of fragile states and uh, or the collapse of public authority, global governance, and then we end up with a wonderful imagining alternatives at the end. The format of this is fairly standard. Two particular features. One is that you will have a tutor who is not one of the teachers but will be tutoring every class uh, from beginning to end. This is an excellent tutor. Asha Amirali, who did uh, the tutoring for this course last year. The mode of um, examination is there is a short paper early in December, and then there's what we call a takeaway exam in January, which means you're given an exam paper and you have six days in which to come back with answers to two questions. Finally, uh, let me ask, answer the question. Uh, who shouldn't take this class? Well, I think if you're one of those people who feel so passionately about some political issues that you find it quite hard to be cool-headed and analytic about it, and you know, you know what the problem is, it's wicked governments, and what you need to do is mobilize good civil society against wicked governments, well, you want to think carefully about taking this class because uh, while that kind of Attitude to the world is politically very useful. It's actually quite hard to do term papers and exam papers uh, written from that perspective if you're just so passionate about it. I'm not trying to discourage people who have those views. It's just those people who are too passionate about that. Um, you're very welcome.